Have you guys been to Creature's Cauldron? They're located at 128 North Broadway, Lexington, Kentucky. I heard there was a Harry Potter themed coffee shop when I was visiting Kentucky and absolutely had to stop. With every surface covered in deep hues or gold, the element of magic is all around. If you're a true Harry Potter fan, there are a lot of little touches here that make this place stand out. And with the limited amount of movie memorabilia, this is less of a hokey themed cafe and more of a Harry Potter experience that you might feel if you were at Hogwarts. To say this isn't your typical coffee shop would be an understatement. This is the first coffee shop that I've been to that has the option for different mushroom powders to be add-ins. And the knowledge with how to pair these drinks with mushroom powders was extensive. And just so you know, if you get the ashwagandha powder, you're gonna need to do the butter brew because it's gonna offset the bitterness of the mushroom. I wasn't willing to take that risk. And while the unicorn tears, which was recommended to me by the owner, which is filled with lavender, honey, and vanilla sounds amazing, the moment I walked in, my decision was made. Because while I'm here for Harry Potter, I am a Narnia fan. And I'm gonna do the lion's mane in something called a white witch. I'd like to mention that the service here was exceptional. There was a small line, an order had come in, and there was one person kind of running everything. I don't know if the staff member was late to work or there was an issue with scheduling, but that person with the Bucky shirt really good. held it down. Incredibly patient, really hardworking, and still really welcoming. That person took the time to help me through the drink list and encouraged me to try this cheddar bacon scone. This scone actually reminded me more of a biscuit. It was dry but soft, but not like scone dry. The flavors were good, and I'd say it's pretty filling. But really, for me, it's the coffee. But really, where else am I going to get a white witch from? This place really was magical. And as far as pricing goes, it's basically what you see at most coffee shops. But it's just so extra here, in the best way. And they were pet friendly. The space itself isn't huge, but there's a good amount of tables and seating available. I saw people sitting by themselves reading books, friends gathering and catching up. And I took up a whole bench chair, nobody cared. This was a really nice experience, and for all the tiny details they get right, it's worth the visit.